We talking about whatever, whatever that's on your mind. Speak your mind. Don't be shy. This is your time to shine. Yeah. Everybody who spoke on R. Kelly's or surviving R. Kelly. Wait, is this the latest one? You know, I didn't see Surviving R. Kelly 2. Uh, at least I didn't it's like finish. Three. Oh, it's like three? Okay, well, I didn't see... I know I didn't you see might, the third yeah, one. I know it's more than one. Okay, I, I didn't see the third one, if it is a third one, and I, I don't think I've seen all of the uh, second one, but I did see, see all of the first, the first one. The first one, but that's what I'm hey, talking wasn't about. Wasn't John Legend on there? John Legend? Did he speak? Like, I think like, he was on there. He was on there speaking. Like like the interview, yeah. Like speaking again, like speaking against R. Kelly. Okay. Like this is uh, he's a monster and all that type. Okay, well, like, it, it's lock somebody, that nigga up too. Right <laughs> lock that nigga up too, then. Well, why do you say that? Because people, <laughs> we all I already stated that all the parents need to be locked up with him. Oh, definitely. Every single parent need to be locked up with him. That's just because. You are grown people letting your little girl go on tour mm -hmm. with a grown artist and his entourage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and for entourage. even for even introducing your child, for even telling your child to yeah, go on up on that stage. Or let me get you uh can my child go backstage and meet you and all that stuff. You say you say that one more time. Like a couple of um uh, these families. With the girl, mm -hmm. a lot of them met him. A lot of them met him at his show, like on some backstage pass type stuff. Or when he call up a, a lady up, you know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. a, a couple of parents, mom and dad, have sent their girl up there, like go, go. go, go oh, go okay. Ah oh, man, yes. that is no. What the heck? Yeah, lock her yeah, up bro. when they walking out the freaking venue. Lock them up when they walking out the venue. What the heck? Right. I'm not even about to have my 16, <laughs> 17 year old at an R. Kelly concert with me, with her. You know what I'm saying? Period. With me anyway. Period. Exactly. Right. Only way they with get me in there, they snuck in. She with us. Only way they get right. in there, exactly. snuck in that mud. I'm not about to condone you going to a freaking Kelly concert, boy. I tell you. Right. Come on now. Right. Plus. But yeah, I say they all need to be locked up because they all knew what this nigga was doing and they were condoning it. Mm. They were on the bus. Well, according to what they're telling us on the video, they were on the bus hearing this nigga make it, having sex with these, uh, with Aaliyah and any other chick. And I'm like, y'all just gonna sit here and let this go down because this nigga is R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. You just gonna sit this and let Damn, you go down? Damn, the money to stop rolling in, bro. Well, oh, well, of course the money thing, but also you didn't think about this person probably is a family member of yours. Say not, like this one chick who that. was signed to him, who she gonna say, she gonna get on the video on the thing and start crying, talking about, I knew, I knew, I should have known not to introduce my niece. To R. Kelly, I knew what he was exactly. Lock her up too. Exactly. Oh, sparkle. Lock her up too. You knew what Kelly was. Sparkle, up. right? It was a sparkle. That sounds familiar. She dark skin. Yeah, it was sparkle. Yeah. Sparkle your butt in prison with Kelly. Lock her up because she knew, and even more so the parents on this matter because it was video. They play video of a parent going to one of the spots that she got like a tip or something that uh, Kelly. Yeah, yeah, that's on the first one. Yeah, I'm like, you gonna go walk over there? The one who had turned into like kind of like boyish into it, like is it that, that that sounds familiar? Yeah, like she she started looking like a boy. She videoed herself going to the spot where her daughter was, and this other person, other chick, come answer time out. She can't come to the door right now. And she just standing out there yeah. crying. Like, like the door ain't open and I'm going and I am not gonna go in. Nah, there. kick them over. Exactly. Lock right. that mama up. Lock her up too as well. Also, I ain't even blaming the, the parents and stuff on this because the girls are old enough to know that they're being kidnapped. And that being said, 
that's why I, I don't believe all of it. Oh, of course, of course. I don't believe a lot of it. I don't believe a lot of it. But on top of the girls being old enough to know that they're being kidnapped, the way they presented it, these niggas was never trapped. <laughs> They walking around the mud like it's like it's their home. They actually they said they were trapped in rooms. Going to the store and junk. for them to be able to <laughs> for them to be able to use the bathroom in the corners of their room. I'm like, y'all y'all niggas want this. Anybody right. Can... Whenever if you leave, if you go to the store and come back, you ain't getting that. <laughs> exactly. You not getting that. Was it a um, Home Depot bucket? <laughs> like you going to Home Depot to get your own rope for this nigga? <laughs> right. Get your own duct tape. He had me pick a Home Depot mo- bucket, and know what I go to low. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah, I was like, yeah, they, everybody who spoke at least need to get locked up because they all know what he was doing. They all condoned it. And wow, 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 wow. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, because a lot of people were saying when they went and, you know, when, when I went and, and recorded a song with him, I, I was wondering why he had a bed under the mic. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wouldn't even went in there, bro, if I saw that. <laughs> oh, oh man. You got a bed in the booth, in the studio booth, bro. Yeah, I was like, come on now. Nah. You can go ahead and cry right. that victim blame bull crap if you want to. Oh y'all right. went, y'all went to, y'all went and did his errands for him. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Kelly said bring me back some chips and some now or later. They're like, come on now. <laughs> come on. Y'all actually went back. Y'all didn't even bother call mom to head. I'm out now. I'm okay. I'm at the exactly. store. Like, yeah. come and get me now. But now like, you know I've seen it. But now, <laughs> now I'm curious. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, that's crazy. It, it was a bunch of BS. The whole thing surviving R. Kelly is a bunch of BS. And again, yeah. I I ain't denouncing that, that Kelly is not this nasty cat, but because he is straight, <laughs> straight up, Kelly, you need to be with the. I think he just sick. No, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> But I definitely don't believe all the details. Making love in a jungle, man. Y'all better leave our cat. <laughs> <laughs> he in a jungle right now <laughs> making love. <laughs> <laughs> right, he in the jungle now. 